Hello and welcome. I'm Sherlock Val, and this is Alan Wake. So we're in the mines. I had no real plan. Here for a I wife. was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Ooh. Switch to pump action shock. What have I got the move then? Right. Pump action shotgun seems good to me. Yes. A fucking lot better. I'm going to use that as a trap. Uh, I don't like this one bit. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Please don't say this is broken. Seem as powerful as the other shotgun, but maybe I'm just mistaken. Anyway, we got them all. Got most of the darkness of them, that's pretty kick ass. So, yeah, this thing is pretty freaking handy. We've got lots of pistols. Oh, I might leave my uh, revolver then. For a bit at least. Shit! Yeah, fuck you, buddy. See, these lights are pretty damn amazing. Yeah, back on for you, you can stay on. We have a pistol. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this light saved me a lot of work um, blasting away the darts of my torch. So yeah, let's keep using them. Uh, run, run, run. Oh shit, come on. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Yeah. Ow. There's the other guys wonder where he got to. Whew. Goodness for that. Turn on. Right. Um, let's go towards the crew place with a thermal mask in it. Th uh, mask? Thermal mug in it. But of course, I may be on my own with torch light. That's my pistol. I ran out of pistol. Ah, uh, no, I died. How did I die? That was irritating. Oh, let's try again, shall we? More ammo, batteries, all that jazz. Oh, more shotgun ammo. Yes, oh, for the batteries, apparently. Right. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Good plan. Let's go, right. Come on, bitches. Mm, surprise they haven't spawned in yet. Oh, well, there we go. We start, is it? Right, let's turn this back on. I'm going to go this way up to this hut here. I 
and hopefully not get killed again. Uh, hopefully this is the last guy. Yep, that's the last guy, that bunch. Of course, I don't want to run out of pistol ammo, so... Uh, I hope I don't. Yeah. Sweet. Ah, fuck you. a fridge. Anyway, not, not the important thing right now. More shotgun. Oh, shit! Jesus, where the hell did you come from? And your mate as well. Ah, oh, fuck this. Uh, where the hell is the lights around here? Actually, a wee bit lot. Ah. Right, okay. Ow. Yeah. Take that, you little fuckers. Right, uh. I guess we just press on and fight our way to the top. This is what this looks like it's evolving into. It's somewhat similar to a run and gun exercise. Let's sprint up to here. Turn this light on. Surprise. Take that, fuckers. That, these lights are super handy, I tell you. I'm so glad I got them because I would be very much dead by now. Oh, and hopefully another checkpoint. Yay! Thank goodness for a checkpoint. Uh... Oh, it's fine, don't guys. Just some friendly lumberjacks Darkness working. was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Uh, these are graves. This is kind of creepy. Whole thing's kind of creepy. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. What? Oh no. Boss type dude. Ow, oh, what the fuck? Jesus. Somewhere. Going 
you a fucker, come back. Come closer, dare you. But, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to dare you. Go away. Where's he gone? Yeah! Feel quite badass then. Of course, this badass only has six more shotgun shells left, so. Maybe a very dead one in a minute. Oh, something flashing inside here. Please. Nope, no batteries, that's. Super handy. Oh, there's a light there, it's quite handy actually. Now, so a checkpoint. Good, right. Uh, I wish there were some shotgun shells around it though. Or some ammo of some sort but guess we deal with what we've got right this second the place was dead a ghost town <laughs> had been for decades maybe a century oh for goodness sake so what Oh my goodness. It basically killed itself, I guess. Oh, look at that. Another manuscript page just in front of me. It should be fascinating reading. Let's go. Wake and Casey. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself, angry at Alice, angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. No, plans always go to shit, mate, so you're fine. Well, this is going to, ooh, this is going to shit anyway, but hey, hey ho. Grey Peak Gorge. Originally, originally founded in 1928, the Grey Peak Gorge mining town was one of the permanent settlements of the Bright Falls Mining Company built for its workers. The nearby graveyard is a testament to the dangers the miners face on a daily basis. Most of the men who lost their lives over the years were buried there, a grim, a grim reminder to, to be careful for those who remained. Grey Peak Gorge was abandoned almost overnight when the Bright Falls Mining Company closed its doors in 1970. Yeah, because it's creepy as fuck, that's why. Who the hell would want to live here? Oh, shiny, shiny. Uh, it's more batteries. For fuck's sake. These people not know I need shotgun ammo. Uh, apparently not. So, oh, what's in here? Ammo. No. Uh, for goodness sake. Right, uh, oh. Check out it, check this out. Oh, that's something. I guess. Uh, right, where the. Where am I? Good question. Oh, okay. <laughs> Back at the start. Okay, I see. I see where I am. Let's push on, shall we? Uh oh. Oh fuck. Mad them objects. Kill me, show me before they kill me. Yeah, where's the other one gone? Oh, found it. Don't worry, guys. It's uh, just in. You throw yourself about and that kind of blow last year. Okay, right. Inanimate objects zero and awake 
one. I keep trying to reload my shotgun, but there's still no ammo. Oh, for the love of God. to waste batteries on these things. Oh! Okay, battery time. Whew, right, it's one down. Hopefully this thing can't throw itself so through the hole. Excellent. It's stuck. Oh, do I see something flashing inside this hut? I did. There's something on the floor. What is it? More batteries. Fantastic. Oh, did I not pick them up? Batteries. Oh. At least we're near max batteries now, so... Where... Is this still this fucking thing here, though? Boom! Gone. Goodbye. And all that. Let's walk up along this creaky bridge. Ah, Chepa Ridge, thank goodness for that. Right. Or so we painted them to there. Never mind. Alright. Uh. Ow. Uh, hide behind a rock. I'm going to waste back to this because this thing could probably quite easily kill me. That thing's just... Whew. Right. Next time this thing comes alive, it's going to throw itself at me. So we're going to hide. See guys, train yards are not safe because, you know, possessed trains and all that bollocks. We've actually got boost to kill all the time. I think you've actually got to boost your torch to hurt these things, otherwise they don't get hurt at all. I actually got must move my flashbang. Right, no, let's use yeah, flashbangs and flares as well. I've got so if and when I do run out of ammo, what's that? A key to somewhere. Fantastic. A key to my heart. Probably not. Oh no, the key to this little hut here. <laughs> there is a nice bright light coming from inside. So, I feel safe here for now until. Flare gun. Oh, flare gun ammo. Ah, oh, shit. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself. It sounds like a fun poet. being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. Fantastic. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Right, so the fact you're right about them is making them come true. Thanks a lot, Wake. Hunting rifle. Um, what's better? Shotgun or hunting rifle? I don't know. No, he's hunting rifle. Oh, the fuck knows. Stick the hunting rifle for now. The dark presence. I'm <laughs> gonna get out of here. Right, well, thank you for watching. I'm gonna take a break here and I will see you in the next video.